people, 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 what they do. Now people, this part of the video is called the juveniles. They are creating chaos and catastrophe in a Spanish town. Spanish town saying catching not the vision popo station to be specific. Now, based on information, it is said that three persons were taken into custody and they are believed to be members of the notorious Bedbug Gang. People you hear the name Bedbug Gang. Now, it is also said that one of those persons is 16 and he is believed to be the leader of that notorious gang. And these persons have been reaping havoc all over St. Catherine, Spanish Town, Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Blink. And based on information, it is said that they are breaking into people's store. They are causing business establishment to close very early. They are T phone, they are extra, they are doing all manner of evil. So people with sister, the popo have them in a custody. Or at least three of the suspects. Three of the noted persons that are in this gang. Now, when we think about the age of these people, 16 year old, we can draw the conclusion that this is some sort of juvenile gang that is run by a 16 year old. Because the truth and the fact is that Spanish Town is a bad place. Spanish Town has several gangs and most of them are in their 20s. So the point that I am trying to make is that None of these persons in them 20, them non take no chat from no juvenile. Even though the fact is that most of the crimes that are being perpetuated in a Jamaica is done by a juvenile. So therefore the shot of them are usually in the age of 16, 17, 18 and could even be younger, as young as 14 year old, 13 year old people. It does not matter because the frame of thought is that if them get catch, more than likely they are going to get minimal time. However, people we see that lately, based on the severity of the crimes, they are being charged as adults. They are convicted as adults. And they are getting some decades, three, four, five decades sometimes. So therefore, that is not working out. However, it, is see, it seems as if these young men, they are drawn to the gang culture because first thing first, they lack education. First thing first. No parental guidance, no father is usually there and people that is not an excuse because me never grow with any sorts of father either and I am not saying that I was the best, me just as say I did not take it to that extent. Now, when we listen to what these people are doing, them have the whole place under siege, Spanish town and we see that the deputy commissioner, deputy superintendent and his name is Linroy Edwards he said that they are going to reclaim Spanish Town. So people, it shows you that they basically submit that these gang members have had the place under hostage for a little while. So therefore, they are claiming now that they are going all out 24 hours a day and they are reclaiming Spanish Town saying catch and not from these thugs. So people, let's see exactly what happened because the truth and the fact is that when we talk about places like Spanish Town, Spanish Town has been bad forever, forever and a day. We are talking about from back in the 80s, 70s, maybe even before that. And people, nothing has changed. Like I said, most of these volatile communities, they are like a volcano. They remain dormant for a little while and then them just erupt. So people, we see that that is exactly what is going on. Now when we talk about the bus park in Jamaica, we see that it is run by extortion. When we talk about business, most business is in Spanish town, you have to pay some sort of extortion. And when we talk about robbery in the last few months, we are talking about in 2020, fast forward to 2021, we see that it has been running rampant, especially in a Spanish town. Now, people, let me give you a little story about Spanish town. As a young lad, teenager, I had some family members that live in a place called Greendale in a Spanish town and my uncle he was a church person my uncle and my aunt they were a church person and they used to mentor some people from in a place called in some city Spanish town sorry they're from Spanish town 
And they used to go to a church in a handsome city and people remember them times I am a teenager. However, you know that Greendale was one of those high places in a Spanish town that was one of the better eras. So anyway, they lived there, they had a house there. However, they mentored some troubled youth from Spanish town in some city. And like me say, they used to go to church. And because, you know, whenever I go there on holidays, it usually be very exciting compared to where I was from in a Kingston. So anyways, when I used to go to church, people pass Sunday, I am going to church. And when I go to church, because like I said, they were mentoring some youth from Spanish town. And it seems as if those youth, they had some sort of problem with some people from in some city, which was where the church was at. And people, can you believe it? Every Sunday that I go to church or we went to church, we always had some sort of fight coming from church because the youth them from Ensom City and the youth them that my aunt and uncle were mentoring, they had some sort of problem. Like me said, people, me don't know what kind of problem them have. We never discussed it. However, me know say every Sunday religiously, we are talking about all sorts of spiritual, all sorts of fish, rete, lele, blue, blah, blah. So people, me just show you the culture of gangsterism that has existed in a Spanish town for the longest time and people, nothing has not changed. So the point that I am trying to make is that this place is so infested, so contaminated with all sorts of badness from day one and people. We say that it is escalating to the point now where we have a gang that is run by a 16 year old. It's creating all sorts of chaos and catastrophe. So people, me just I show you how Jamaica run. Me just I show you how St. Catherine run. And your sister, the Pope of them basically all over the place right now, trying to reclaim it, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel. I am speaking about true Jamaica buzz and when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news, people, we are speaking about bad news. Because based on information from the communication arm of the JC of Jamaica Constable Force, and I am speaking specifically Stephanie Lindsay, it is said that the suspect that was held in the slap away of four homeless and the injury of two others, he has to be released or he was released because there was insufficient evidence to charge him. So therefore, the Pope is now saying there is nobody in custody as it pertains to that serious crime now people when we think about this and what happened i am only going to show you how this system the pope or the justice system always hype up everything because based on the preliminary information that we got when these incidents first occurred it is said that they had a strong suspect based on video evidence based on cctv so therefore they saw somebody in a some sort of verbal, physical altercation with some sort of person that is homeless or basically cuckoo. So now people, we see all of this evidence that they had on the video and they claim that they had strong lead. We see it has faded away. And now, based on the information from the Pope, they are seeking the assistance of the residents. They are seeking assistance from the public if anybody knows any sort of information. So people, we are speaking about they just basically mess up our high. We are speaking about they said one thing and then they deliver the next thing. I am speaking about they claim they act as if they had some sort of smoking gun. However, people, we see that to be a little whimper. Now when we think about the justice system in Jamaica, like I have always said, we cannot take what they say as gospel. We cannot believe them when they say that they have strong lead because they realize that persons are itching. Persons want to hear all sorts of good information. So whenever there's any sort of thing out there that is bubbling on social media, trending on social media, 
they always want to seem as if they have it undercover them have it wrapped up however people based upon this now we can only come to the logical conclusion that a lot of times when we listen to the popo we cannot take what they say we have to take what they say with a grain of salt because people when he first heard about this incident we thought that it was an open and shut case because them claim so them have video evidence they claim that they had sufficient evidence so therefore they supposed to go to trial and the persons who are persons that were homeless could get some sort of justice for themselves and the family however people we say say that is not the case point blank and period now if we remember when this incident occurred we heard that there was some strong outcry for persons living in jamaica that they are supposed to watch these deportees because the person or the main suspect was supposed to be some sort of deportee that came back to jamaica and deportees are responsible for a lot of the things that we see occurring in jamaica and people while that might be true it also gives a bad name to the deportees that are back in Jamaica that are trying to fit back in a society. However, people, whenever you hear people in a social media, people in the news start put out all sorts of backlash on deportees, it makes it seem as if all the deportees that came back, even the ones them that basically overstay their time overseas, they are committing all sorts of crime in Jamaica. They might take away people, they might rob this, they might do that. When the truth and the fact is that majority of these persons are, well, I don't want to say legal law abiding citizens. But just as I said, they are not as bad as advertised. So the moral of the story is this. When it comes to the popo, the popo, our expectation of the popo is much higher than what they are delivering. So therefore, if them say them have suspect, we should hope that that is true. We should hope that we can get some sort of justice and people. We say that in most cases, scenario, that is not the case. The case is not an open and shut case. The case is basically open. The case is pending. They are looking for further information. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.